I knew that it didn't matter how long it took. I wasn't leaving her. I didn't care if it took days. I wasn't leaving my baby. Like, hey, I want a kid, so I'm going to have a kid. And it's just going to happen. But yeah. that's not what happened for us. We went to a fertility specialist. And that's when, you know, the harsh reality for me, there was less than a 5% chance that we could have a child, and if we did, that that child would have some type of developmental disability. I was sick every day. It really put a strain on our marriage. And so we're watching Braley uh, fighting, and, that, and that's what's crazy. We hadn't even held her at this point. We were looking at her through a glass that they wheeled her in. She's practicing walking from day one, trying to get to her child. She was hooked up to a lot of tubes and things, but she looked fine, and it just didn't make much sense as to why these things were happening. Somebody may think I'm a fool for believing in a God I can't see. What do you mean? You're telling me my child's gonna die. What are you talking about? Like, that was the first time I, anyone ever told us that that was, could happen. Well, I stormed out. I said, <laughs> we believe in God, there's no luck. My baby's not a luck, you know didn't just happen. There was something else going on that but, was bad. Because the truth about it is, is no matter what God would have told me, it yeah. wouldn't have been good enough. But I think that I would be a fool to not be able to see that God and choose not to believe in him. And then one day he cracks the sky and explains it all to me. Daddy, the sun is setting. <laughs> Aww.